no branding kind of ruined in, ruined my opening but comic vantage is back let's bust into it Man, talk about just absolutely trashing my opening. I was going to do that whole silent thing, you know, take it out of the mailer and hold up that big Comic Vantage logo on there and go, he's back. But no, no brandy. Too lazy to stamp his boxes. i tell you what, man. But anyway, he's back. Comic Vantage is back after months of ridicule and pestering and nagging and telling him bring back the mystery boxes to no avail finally comic vantage has brought back the comic vantage mystery box just in time for christmas but guess what if you didn't get one you are SOL because they sold out in a day. See, I told you, he's worried that nobody, people had lost interest. Nah, he's become like the McRib, you know. He he, he disappears for a while and, and builds anticipation so that when he comes back, it, it seems so special. Only, unlike the McRib though, these are actually really good. But anyway, these are $40 shipped and and there are, you get chances for uh store exclusives some uh signed books remarks um some pretty good stuff in these so um i was excited when he finally finally dropped them so you'll have to forgive me i would just woke up and i couldn't wait to come in here and bust this open so let's just dive right on in and all right now i don't know since he's doing these different and clearly he's he's gotten he's gotten a little lazy because he didn't you know doesn't even stamp his logo on the boxes anymore so i don't know if he's doing these the same way it used to be you know uh you would uh, see that those little tabs on the end and if you got only one you know you got a banger and if you but if you got you know two or three you know you got some decent books and a couple and a couple of decent hits but he did say however that he was not going to put stickers in all of them except a few chase stickers for the platinum club but yet here we are so you can't believe a word he says you can't take it you can't take anything he says to heart. And I told him, I said, you know, if you keep giving out these platinum stickers, then that, then the, uh, then the club is no longer ex that exclusive. And man, they just lose their appeal. And I mean, I guess they kind of, they kind of, you know, I mean, they've kind of lost their prestige anyways when they let Squatchy in. So, I mean, there you go. But anyway, I see a, I see I got a couple of green stickers, so I got two green stickers, so that means I got two eh, decent good, decent uh, books. All right, first up, we've got Star Trek Deep Space Nine, number one. Not a big Star Trek fan, so, eh, but not bad. Next up, oh, you get a little old school stuff. Some X-Men and the Alpha Flight, number one, number two, excuse me. X-Men and the Alpha Flight, number two. And 
since we, you know, we're kind of going old school on this, you know, even got the comic cleaver out to open these up. We will, we will, um, we'll run him through the eBay grinder. Yeah, people say, bring back the eBay grinder, bring back the eBay grinder. And I, you know, I, I kind of quit doing it, but, you know, in honor of Comic Vantage's triumphant return, we will run these through the eBay grinder just to see what we get. But that's kind of cool. Next up, the Joker, number one. That, uh... Oh, who does that cover? I'm not sure who does this cover. But it's a little variant cover. Nice. All right. Next up, we got... Wonder Girl, number one. The limb cover. He's got a $10 value on it. Pretty cool. That's not bad. Not too bad, man. And last but not least, we got a virgin variant. This looks to be... Uh, I'm not sure what this is, but it's... It's a Qua cover. He's got a $35 value on it. Let me see what this is. Let's bust it open. I noticed something about these. These are not in these are not in comic vantage bags. My gosh, man. Whew. This is <laughs> the Marvels number three. <laughs> All right. Well, the movie didn't do so good, but that's a cool cover. I dig that. But not in common. How am I supposed to pimp your bags, Luis? If if uh. If you don't even, if you ain't putting them in your own bags, but cool virgin variant, 35. So according to him, there's over my value in these two books. And then we just get about, we get uh, three, three bonus books. So not bad, man. I can say I did not get to get one of the big hits. I would have tried again, but he's sold out. I guess I'll have to wait till January. And try again, but um, can't wait to see what everybody else got. Like I said, he sold out on the first day, so there ain't no point in going. Ain't no point in uh, going over there and uh, and trying to get one. But you can go over to ComicVantage.com, and he does have some other cool stuff. Right now, he's got sales on his exclusives. Um, Got some really cool um, Comic Vantage exclusive comics over there you can pick up at a discounted price. And also he has, I think he is out of the Silver Age size bags, but he does, I believe, still have Modern Age bags. They are very good quality bags. It's the only bags I use. So check them out. But enough of that. Let's run him through the eBay grinder and see what it spits out. We'll be back in a flash. All right, we are back and we ran Comic Vantage through the eBay grinder like we haven't done for a long time. And, but you know, like, I'm just gonna put it like this. I got, definitely got over our money's worth. Um, we're no keys in here really to speak of, but, um, but, some good books anyway um this one was about last last sold was about four dollars x-men alpha flight uh this is a newsstand last sold was also about four dollars this joker is a matina variant last sold on it was about five dollars and wonder girl number one He's got that about right. It's a little more, actually. It was like $10.80. 
Now this one, uh, this one, um, if you go by last solds, then this one went for forty dollars last sold. Um, but there is a listing on there for buy it now for a near mint copy of this for eighteen bucks. So somebody either underpriced it or whatever, but um, I give them a bit of the doubt. We'll 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 split the difference. We'll we'll say twenty bucks, maybe. I don't know how long. You know, he's had this marked and tagged and ready to go. It could have dropped a little bit by, by then, you know. But either way, definitely got more than my $40 worth. Some really cool books. Definitely definitely a couple for the PC for sure. Um, and overall, happy and glad he's back. Um, can't wait for January. For next for the next season so if you want one of these you better jump on them and and do them quick because he did sell out in one day and i was gonna buy another one too i was gonna buy two but i failed but like i said there are a lot of chase there are a lot of chase comics in there i didn't get any of the chases you know it's got some really uh nasty comics with some remarks you know, and and some and some really cool stuff. So definitely worth picking up. But anyway, that is gonna do it. Before y'all go, do all those YouTube things we love for you to do. Like, subscribe, comment, share, and we will see you all in the next one. Peace.